Hey yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Ash, bringing a brand new Sugar Life 2 video. Today's showcase is just going to be all the Kotsky weapons, there are currently not a lot of them at the moment. But we have Grass Kusanagi, 3 Bladed Scythe, Gun Buy, and all that, so make sure to stick around for that. Um, I do talk a little bit about them, like each one of them, and like give a little bit of details, like and I give my own ratings. Some of my ratings might be wrong. Like, again, you might disagree with me. Again, it's just my opinion, so don't come for me. Anyways, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed the videos. So let's just get into it, boys. Alright, so first up we have Hidon's Blade, the 3 bladed scythe. This one spawns in the Hikoski base right now. This one, this weapon is literally like the one of the 7 swordsmen's weapon, the new Yubari, except it's like the reverse. The new Yubari itself like pulls the opponent to you. This one makes the opponent, you makes you go to the opponent. It's a good weapon, it can definitely create a lot of combos if you're like, let's say if you have the Shinoike, it's right the Shinoike. You do your Q and then like you and then you block and do your C. So it does 28k damage with 5k in Kaijutsu, which isn't that bad for a weapon. Probably like one of the I know that Killer B sword does like what 24, 25k, 45k in Kaijutsu. So overall this one's pretty good for what's it called for the Kaji weapon. I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10 on, on the weapons tier list. Alright, next up we have the Grass Kusanagi. This is Orichimaru Sword. I'm considering Orichimaru, uh, what's it called, Akatsuki because in the closed community, Itachi isn't part of the Akatsuki on the list, but Orichimaru is, so we're just gonna show up, showcase his weapon. So this one right here does a lot of damage. It's a pretty cool sword. It You can block it, by the way. This one right like it has good reach like it does I think over yeah it does over 40k in damage it you can't block break and it has pretty good reach it reaches like from all the way over there but obviously the closer you are the more of your load things it I wouldn't say this is I would like damage wise it's a 10 out of 10 but if we're looking at overall use oh it did like half the block bar so like yeah it's good but like overall usage I wouldn't say it's like you know optimal so it's like if you do that you gotta be like careful how you aim it well actually no nah, i changed my mind i'll give this a 8.5 out of 10 to be honest with you so overall this is a pretty good weapon especially if you get it i know that the glitch it's glitch right now so not a lot of people were able to get it or even have it so yeah third on the list we have samiata samiata is a pretty good sword like the only thing i don't really like i know it's getting a revamp soon or if it already got rid of no it didn't. it's getting a revamp soon. The Samiata Q takes away a little bit of the chakra, but like, and it kind of like blinds the person. It does minimal damage, but the main thing is that like, it kind of like hinders the person's vision. And it takes a little bit of chakra, but the one thing I don't like about it is that it kind of lasts, like the animation for Samiata kind of lasts too long, making it not that optimal to use unless like you're doing like 3v3s where it like hinders like a group of people but in a 1v1 it's pretty useless since people can always block and just like sub out of it because like just like how the people it took away 35k chakra yeah it has pretty good uh what's it called chakra drain like it's not like over the top but the one thing you see like how the animation lasts too long like like you can hit me with your yeah the index can move like you can hit me with stuff during that animation, I'm kind of just stuck there. Overall, I would give Samiata a 6 point, eh, 7. I'll give it a 7 on the weapon scale. Because there are better weapons than this. Like, again, like just because the Q kind of renders you useless for a few seconds. Even though it does damage, the damage is not just over again and again. So someone can do like a Taijutsu combo on you if they really wanted to. So, 7 on the weapon scale. Alright, next up we have the Pain Weapons. Pain weapons are the chakra rods, which are the chakra rod, and the regular weapon tab, and the chakra rod toss, and the probo tab. So the chakra rod right here is it's decent. It does 15k damage, but the main thing about it is that like it stuns them for like a little while, so you can get like off a combo. 
the chakra rod toss um what's it called does 5k with 5k and you know taijutsu which everyone can get now since with the new prestige system i definitely think that it's a good combo you can do with especially with the q even though like the damage is sort of minimal you can, it's it's true ability is in comboing like follow-up moves and stuff like that the chakra rod toss are the best throwable weapons in the game right now so with like it does like they're 15k i think with each like overall when you add them all up 15k or around 14k i'm pretty sure i'm not really sure on the, like the damage i'll put on those we can test right now yeah it, do, it does like around 15k so yeah i would give pain's weapons uh oh it takes chakra so with the, just like with the fact that it takes chakra i'll give like both the pain rod the pain rods i mean the chakra rods and the chakra rod toss a total of nine and finally the last weapon on the on the kotsky weapon list currently in game is the gun by some people will say it's not but i think it is since you know obito is technically part of the akatsuki and he used it so we're just gonna say that it is for now and Madara technically sort of kind of is part of the Kotsky. It's messy, okay? Alright, so with the Gunbite. The Gunbite is a pretty good weapon. I definitely think that in 1v1s it might not be, you know, that great. But it shines in team combat, kind of like Samyata. Because if you see right here, it's Q. It's Q does like 24k total, but like it can target more than two people at once that's the amazing thing about it so like let's say if you're like akatsuki wise like let's say if you're just running an akatsuki combo once they add modern arena and stuff like that you can and then modern has you know his come by and you were using someone else can use what's it called kisame you can easily do uh, what's it called a samyata plus gun by combo like they're both aoe's oh it hit three times there so it has the ability to hit more than you know twice so, so that definitely puts in like the middle rankings for weapon damage, since it can hit three times just because of that. It has a good AOE. So overall, I would give this a nine point a nine. I'll give this a nine in the weapon scale. The only reason I think would give it more, even though Samyata is an AOE itself, Samyata can't compare to this weapon. Like, there's no like this doesn't leave you vulnerable for like even if it's somehow that leaves you vulnerable for a short period of time the fact that it kind of leaves you vulnerable doesn't sit well with me so yeah i'll just give this a nine out of ten on the weapons 